So this is a project I've been thinking about for a while, and I know I've only put, I think I've only put one video up about my electric bike, uh, home-built electric bike. I should have put some more up, that was my intention, but uh, sort of the grand plan all along was to have it solar-powered. Now I've got these flexible panels, as you can see from this one, the one at the back, I've uh, just screwed it down to a uh, wooden frame that I built just to keep it still, and this new one's just come. Got it running through some cable inside, and I'll show you the controller. So I've built a little splitter in the uh, connector here. So these are XT90S connectors. I've just this is the normal one that connects for the battery to the motor. Get it to focus. I've just put another one coming off so I can collect the connect the solar controller. Let's see if we can get that to focus, shall we? All right. So as you can see there, we're getting a decent amount of power. I mean the the panels are tilted towards the sun, so. Uh, that's going to improve it a little bit. We're getting 155 watts, which I don't think is too bad at all. I mean, that's a good amount of power. I've been running it for 40 minutes, but I've just been testing. So I've been having it turned on and turned off. Um, we managed to get, what's that, nearly 60 watt hours? Now, 60 watt hours on my bike is at least 6 kilometers, probably more like 8 or 10 kilometers. And that's just from 40 minutes of charging. So it's not exactly bad. Um, so the whole goal all along was to have the panel actually on the bike while you ride so I'm going to try and figure out a system where on the back of the bike I have some sort of frame and I can have a panel on there and I can have another panel on the front of the bike it might look a bit ridiculous which I'm willing to live with um, but yeah that's my long term goal I just thought I'd quickly show you that it's quite interesting to see how well these panels do they're just the uh, solar is it solar world? I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen if I got it wrong. Um, the people who make the cells that are in these solar panels, I'll go out and show you. No, it's uh, sun power that make these cells, I remember. Uh, these are about the most efficient cells you can buy on the consumer market. And these just come from these bendy panels. They're good quality and everything, but they come from AliExpress. Uh, they're pretty fairly priced, so these are probably the low end of those cells. So still pretty good. Uh, these panels are only about three millimeters, four millimeters thick as well. So the goal that was on the bike, get it really rigid. Uh, and as long as you've only got that three millimeter, four millimeter front section facing the wind, it won't actually produce much drag either. And another bonus of that is the air going over and under the panel is actually going to keep the panel cool. Uh, and it's probably going to produce more power because solar panels don't like being hot. Uh, they always come rated with a coefficient so you can calculate the increase in temperature reduces the efficiency. So yeah, it's got potential to be pretty good. I'd like to get both of these 100 watt panels on. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see how it works out. So this is sort of just a bit of a basic introduction. I'm going to start working on this as soon as I can. And I'll uh, get back to you when I've got more to show. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.